Welcome, welcome everyone. It's Melissa Jane here again for Lord of Hill TV, where we share only the positive things. Let's go. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Lord of Hill TV. I am your host, Melissa Jane, and I'm also the founder of Lord of Hill TV. And again, this is where we share only the positive and inspiring things about the city of Lord of Hill and the surrounding areas too. So we do have an amazing show for you tonight. Go ahead and get settled in. Come on in, tell a friend, share and subscribe. And I'll tell you, we do have a quite a jam-packed show, so you're not going to want to miss anything at all tonight. We do have a special guest coming up, Mr. Glenn Payne from Legacy Lives Here. He's going to tell us about his amazing conference coming up in just a few days now. And then we also have a couple of special, special features. You're not going to want to miss this. We're going to bring you a new segment today, a brand new segment, Hidden talents in Lauder Hill. So you, you want you definitely want to stick around for that. All right. So let's get our um let's get our homework out of the way. Let's go ahead and share with everybody that you know. Please go ahead and share by email, by WhatsApp, by text, by Facebook, by Instagram, by TikTok, all of the social medias. Go ahead and share and let people know what's going on here. We do definitely want to encourage people to come in because we do have a lot to give you tonight. So who's here? Pastor Sharice Lamore. Welcome to you, Pastor Sharice Lamore. Good to have you. I think we may have uh, connected on Face on Instagram this week. So it's wonderful to have you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Lord of Hill TV. And again, if it's your first time here, which I believe it may be, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Of course, hit the like button as well. All right, all right. Yes, Speaker Sharice, I believe I may have connected with you on Instagram because you are going to be one of the speakers on the Legacy Lives Here conference, the Chain Breakers. All right. So come on in, guys. Get settled in. I Get settled in. I want you guys to uh, really enjoy the show tonight. Go ahead and hit that share button one more time if you haven't done so already. All right. People are rolling in, rolling in right now. Um, shared. Thank you so much. Yes, my first time and I subscribed and liked the video. Wonderful. I really appreciate it. All right. We're not going to hang around. We have a lot to get through tonight. We're going to go to our first segment tonight. And tonight we're going to start off with the Lord of Hill City, the Lord of Hill SDA events. Actually, no, we're going to go with the Lord of Hill City events. All right. Now, this, the Lord of Hill City has a lot of events on their website. And all I did was simply copy the slider events that are that are shared there. And you can go to, to that anytime you like to find the latest and greatest of the events. So let's go to that right now.
There you go, guys. Those are the Lauder Hill City events. And you can find all of those events and much more by going to the Lauder Hill City website, which is lauderhill-fl.gov. www.lauderhill-fl.gov at any time and see what's going on in the beautiful city of Lauder Hill. So again, welcome to Lauder Hill TV. Who has just joined us? And let me just welcome again, Pastor Sharice Lenore. She's going to be one of the speakers at the Legacy Conference. Uh, yes, my first time. And she has subscribed. Mr. Non Evasive Screening, welcome to the show tonight. Good to have you again. El hello all, he says. And thank you so much for sharing. Guess who's here? Mr. David Reese is here. Good evening, David Reese. Good to have you, sir. We we missed you at the Lord of Hill Chamber of Commerce uh, workshop this morning. It was online, so I was expected to see you there, but I guess you might have been working hard. So anyway, that's nice. Julia Lewis Spann is here. And again, welcome to you, Julia. And she is going to be bringing us a special, special feature a little bit later on. So come on, guys, come roll it in and please share as you come in and subscribe if you haven't already oh who's here Aficia Payne is here Mrs Mrs Payne <laughs> Mrs Glenn Payne she's in the audience welcome to you Aficia good to have you in the building please go ahead and share for us thank you so much all right people are coming in for you Glenn you see people are rolling in now all right so we're going to be having you up in a little bit but we have we're going to play a couple of commercials and when we come back we're going to see what the Lauder Hill Seventh Day Adventist Church has got coming up. So let's go to our commercials first. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence, specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauder Hill TV. Email support at LauderHillTV.com for the details. Yes, indeed. You could contact me. We can run your ads during the show. We can create ads for you. We can do a lot of great things to help you to promote your business. All right. So each week, the Lord of Hill Seventh Day Adventist Church, they send me their announcements, their activities, and we simply share them with you. So it's only about two minutes. So don't go too far as we share the Lord of Hill SDA events. All right. So if you have an organization, you have um, a lot of events and a lot of activities that you do, feel free to get in touch with me and you can 
share your activities too. All you need to do is send me a video just like that and we can play it on the show. All right, as long as it's related to Lauder Hill or it serves the city of Lauder Hill. All right, we're gonna take another break. When we come back, we have more great information for you. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence, specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauder Hill TV. Email support at LauderhillTV.com for the details. All right, we're almost at that time where we're going to speak to our special guest for the night. But we have one more thing to, to, to provide for you. Each week, our attorney, Tamar Hamilton, provides a little segment for us, giving us some information on the law. And this is her series that we're on uh, video five of the series. So let's go ahead and hear from attorney Tamar with episode five. Welcome back on our segment on powers of attorney. This segment was sponsored and produced by Tamar and Hamilton PA. So we're talking about specific powers of attorney and you've already seen that we can have an educational power of attorney. You can have a medical power of attorney. Another common specific power of attorney that I've seen is as to real property. You don't have to give someone power over your banking, your medical, um, your stocks and bonds, your safety deposit box, um, the right to tax returns or um, to sign documents on your behalf. You can get very specific. So for example, I've had clients who because of their absence, they're leaving out of town and they're in the process of selling a home or purchasing a home or doing some kind of a line of credit or they're traveling abroad, but they won't be able to physically be there to conduct business. And so they have prepared specific power of attorney just to cover the situation at hand, just to cover that specific matter that you want your loved ones or your assigned attorney, in fact, to cover for you. And that's where we get specific. And that you can't be more specific than that. If I, all I want you to do is help me with a matter on this specific property, my Lauder Hill home, then I can customize your power of attorney so you're only giving power to this person or these individuals over that certain situation. And so you, again, can craft out your power of attorney it can be general or it can be very, very specific. Whichever power of attorney you decide, it is important that you choose someone who is available, reliable, and will respect the rights, the duties, and the responsibility that you are entrusted to that person. All right, they, it's almost like a fiduciary duty. It's the highest level of trust because keep in mind again, you, while you are alive, are giving someone the right to do something that you alone have the power to do. And only who you share this power with would have the right to conduct that type of business for you or sign those certain documents. So please choose carefully when you are looking for someone to be your power of attorney. When we get back, we're now gonna talk about the most popular and the most useful type of power of attorney, the durable power of attorney. This segment was sponsored and produced by Tamar and Hamilton PA. Absolutely lovely. Our attorney, Tamar Hamilton, 
and uh, she will be bringing more knowledge on the legal aspects, the durable power of attorney and the probate and so much more on the weeks coming up ahead. But let's see who's just joined us, um, who just came in a little while ago. David Reese, Julia Lewis Spann, Afisha Payne, of course. And uh, this is Mama Shirley. Um, Dr. Robertson is in the building. Come on over to YouTube, please, so we can see your name. Um, Orville Downer, Orville Downer, welcome, welcome to you, sir. You have an event coming up. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. And also Carol Weller, welcome to you, my dear. Good to see you on the Lauder Hill Chamber of Commerce workshop this morning. So I would love if you all could just get one more person in here. We have, it says 12 people, 13 people. If we could just bump this up to 26 people, if everybody brings one person in, we can get up to 26 people. Could we do that tonight? So as we bring up our, our, our guest. So we're going to be bringing up Mr. Glenn, Pe Glenn Payne in about one minute after we have our commercial one more time. All right. We will see you in a little bit. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence, specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauder Hill TV. Email support at LauderHillTV.com for the details. All right, it's about that time. We're going to introduce Mr. Glenn Payne, who is the founder and the CEO of Legacy Lives Here Incorporated. And he's not a stranger to the, to the show. Let's bring him up right now. Welcome to you, Mr. Glenn Payne. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Pleasure to be here tonight again. It's been a while. I know, right? It's been, yes. it's been about a year now. Each year yes. we seem to have you back. And um, it's probably been about maybe four or five, maybe about five years that you've been coming up every now and then when you're doing a special, special event. What is the event that you're doing this year? Sure. So for the last five years, we've been doing what we call the Legacy Conference, which engages about building generational wealth in our community and entrepreneurship empowerment. Last year, we changed the name from Legacy Conference to now Rise Up Wealth Summit, which is pretty much right here, Rise Up mm. Wealth Summit. And we have shifted how we do things this year. We have a more engaging atmosphere. We have the panel discussion coming back this year after now three years of not doing it. We brought it back this year in person. The, the generational chain breaker discussion, talking about generational wealth, it's a very candid, raw and cut conversation about how we got here and how do we as a people, black and brown, get to a better place in finances and our legacy and gen building generational wealth. That's mm. why my title says Chief Generational Chain Breaker, because <sighs> that's what I, my, my mandate is, is to be a generation breaker, to help others do the very same thing. That's wonderful. So let's talk a, li a little bit about your journey, especially in this field. Quite an interesting story. Can you just take people through um, you know, a little bit of your background and how you got to where you are today. My background is not even in finance. It's actually in IT. I'm an IT geek, nerd, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Up until today, I've been in IT now over, ooh, I'm dating myself now, over 20-something years. Wow, that's okay. a long time getting old. <laughs> <laughs> but I discovered this love for finances in a different way. When your own life took a turn, my own life took a turn many years ago when I first got married, and I wanted to make a change. I discovered Dave Ramsey, Financial okay. Peace University, where mm -hmm. I took his course. My wife and I did it together. We made some changes in our life. And then from there, we started teaching it in our local church. Next thing you know, it's blowing up to the point now. People are saying, well, why not make it bigger? So we did it for outsiders in our church. And people came in, and we saw the transformation taking place every single month. People came to the building, they got walked, they walked out being more debt, being debt free. We had one person literally walked in by the end of the eight weeks, she paid off all her debt. 
She was down, down her credit cards as to one, and she was mean fighting machine budgeter at the time of that <laughs> ending. So at the end of all that story, we realized this needs to go beyond just the church, but now on the general market. And in 2018, actually, we did our first conference. That very first conference, I remember it so well because my wife and I, we took, we actually paid for everything, including lunch or finances. That was a tough one, but we did uh -huh. it because it was a love of passion for us. Uh -huh. 2019, we did it again. This time we had wisdom. We got sponsors and vendors <laughs> in the building. And that's when we started to do serving hot lunches, which people uh -huh. have now become accustomed to at our events, getting these fine exquisite food, which I'm sure you remember. For real? <laughs> <laughs> so our speakers, we fly them in, or they're local, depending where they are, mm -hmm. and they're experts in their field dealing with finance, with estate planning, like Tamar was mentioning a while ago, she was up my alley. Mm -hmm. um, we have people coming in talking about Forex and investments, which we met before, um, mm -hmm. twice, and then we have people talking about mindset, because this year we realized something more than ever, it's all good to talk about money and make changes, but if your mind is not yet mm -hmm. shifted or change you will still repeat the same patterns over and over and over it's like pure insanity yeah. yes we have all that in the, in the house this year along with the panel discussion um we have also this year we've expanded last year's event in terms of now doing a youth summit so we have two events taking place in one building at the same time we have the adults in one section and children from ages we have a Right now, some teenagers are coming in, some teenagers, middle schoolers coming in just to be part of the youth summit. And they have their own section of the building. They have their own bags, swag bags, everything. They are all ready to go. And I'm ex super excited to see them there. And definitely, you guys can still come. We have actually applied $100 off all tickets and still given on top of that, Melissa Jane tonight has a coupon for 10% additional on top of what we've already applied in discounts. So definitely, this is an event you definitely need to be in. It's time oh. to shift. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you have 100% off discount. The code is founder100, but then you have an additional 10% um, off. Is that right? So if yes. you use the code Lord of Hill TV, then you get an extra 10% extra off. off. Yes. So that's amazing, amazing, amazing. But I want to go back to um, the first one that I went to, the first conference that I went to. And I met uh, one of your speakers, one of your experts. And because of him, I want to tell people this is, this is no joke. And this is no, no uh, lie. Because of him, I've actually made $40,000 off of my, on my money, on my investment, 40,000 at the last time I checked, that was like a couple of months ago. Um, so the, the professionals that Glenn has at his conference, they're real. They do this for a living. They, they, they're not just somebody that comes in just to, just to talk for the day and they, 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 you know, whatever they are professionals that do these things, whatever topic it is, they do it for a living. And just talk about some of the different topics and speakers. And I'm going to go ahead and um, show show the flyer here. Talk about some of the speakers and so forth that you have going to be a part of your um, conference. So I want to start off with Mark Coley, the mindset coach. He's going to come. He's actually a business coach and a mindset coach all in one, which is to me the, the best of one, best of all. And then we have here uh, Ms. Sharice Riley, who's also in live tonight. She is one of our one of our top speakers who talks about um, building your vision to reality um, as an entrepreneur. There's one thing we've come to realize is that we cannot pass on our job to our children or family when we're gone, but we can sure pass on our business. So Melissa Jane has a lot of Hill TV. If she passed away tomorrow, God forbid, this can pass on to her children, her grandchildren, her great grandchildren, because in the next few months, this could be global. This could be a, a major network. You just never know. So something like this, you can continually pass on long after you're gone. And she's going to talk about that area of how to build the vision into reality. Then we have Dr. Jessica Clements, one of my favorite coaches. She talks about her story is where she came from the bottom up 
um, through Forex trading, she learned the skill and now she's a master to the point where now she's helping others make six figures and above. That's what she's doing. She's helping to break generational change just by teaching you an extra skill you can take with yourself and learn. Uh, Brianna Anderson, I call her the credit boss. <laughs> she's the boss of all things credit. She actually has helped many individuals build, build and repair their personal credit and even start their business credit to the point where she has had people, has people um, begin investment accounts to utilize credit to, to fund their investment opportunities for, for real estate and other entities. Um, I call Mr. Rashawn Faust, finance CEO. She is, he is the CEO of all CEOs when it comes to money. He is the money doctor. He's going to come in and talk to you about building your wealth. So he, what basically um, MJ mentioned about, oh, oh. she learned about investments. Oh, mm -hmm. That's fine. She learned about investments. This is a new person that's coming this year, but he is a firecracker when it comes to money. He's going to help you get your finances in check, help you to make that 40K, as Mr. Jay mentioned, about your investment accounts. He's going to help you to get to that place where you need to be to retire comfortably. Genevieve Carvel Harris, a local business expert here in South Florida. She is actually one of our speakers catering to our children, okay. ensuring that the children learn about the finances, entrepreneurship. Last year, she helped three of the teenagers we had in the room build a business plan for their business, which now is turning around residual income. The wow. parents are happy. Um, I remember even Miss Tamar mentioned her daughter came last year and she had a phenomenal time about that oh. uh and then shakira um uh, she's also with the youth this year she's a real estate mongol investor as well and she's talking to the kids about not just looking about looking for a job but how about looking into avenues of streams of income like real estate or other areas that she can definitely tap into as a business owner this year we are uh, the theme is called elevate 360 why because this is the year to elevate in every single area of your life, your finances, your health, mm -hmm. your wealth, your mindset, everything. And this conference is going to help you pivot to that next dimension. Amazing. Tell people where it is and uh, how they can get tickets. Sure. You can get tickets by going to riseupwealthsummit.com, riseupwealthsummit.com. Again, if you go in there right now, you will see tickets right now for as low as $99. And with a coupon, code you get 10 percent off of that as well uh for vip it's 199 that also comes with additional perks as well as the replays of the event so the entire event oh. will be videotaped it's also virtual this year so we're doing it both in-house and virtual so if you're outside the state of florida you can definitely log in with a purse ticket and you can watch the entire event virtually and have full that, interaction that is absolutely amazing the fact that it's going to be um recorded live streaming live it's beautiful um th the last thing that i want to talk to you about really is what is the kind of sense what is the kind of uh mood in the place because it's very very special i think i feel like every time i've been and i've been at least two times that i can remember that there's a certain mood in the place talk about that <laughs> um every year people always ask me what is it about this legacy touch everything is done with a five-star attitude um the speakers walk in the ambiance the setting is just hype um we just because we're talking about money and wealth and generation amount that means all boring it is totally excitement hyped atmosphere exciting um great food great communication like this year we have a early morning networking session with starbucks sponsored with coffee and chat okay. sips and chat basically you come in check in and you can vibe and engage with other entrepreneurs other individuals even the speakers and get handle one-on-one -on -one interaction with them this is what we're trying to do break down the barriers and bring a fun living side of it of not just talking about money but actually enjoying the atmosphere it's very fun atmosphere um, uh, one of my speakers mentioned last year, she came and she said, I've been to major events, but this event, it's unique for such a small nonprofit. We have grown in how we produce our, doing our production. Well, where I, where I want to go with this, all of that is true. Of course, it's beautiful. It's absolutely top class, um, production wise, um, uh, materials, the materials are outstanding. 
um, speaks of course. Everything is just top class as far as a conference is, is concerned. But there's a there's also a spirit. The, the, the spirit of the Lord is in that place. So people also come out feeling like you've had a church service and a business conference and at a concert, and there's, there's just so many different elements to it. Oh, you just reminded me because if I didn't mention this, I'll be in trouble with my PR person. There is actually also a theme song that was released by one of our attendees last year called the Rise Up Anthem. Yes. And my wife actually was one of the singer, um, the producer of the singers. And we'll be having a live performance, first ever release of the song at the Rise Up Summit this year. Nice. So not only are you getting the, as you <laughs> mentioned, all the speakers, they have an acquaintance with God, yes. Yes, yes. We, all, we always say this is not a church event, right. it's a God event where yes. God is welcome, but yet we still have fun, we yes. share knowledge, and we empower people's lives every day, yes. all day long at this event. It's amazing. It's really, really good. I, I, I would encourage people to, to check this out. You got to check it out at least once in your life because you will walk away feeling filled in so many different ways. And the vendors, you have some cakes, you have some food, you have so many different great vendors that are there that really make the whole thing um worthwhile and i'm not just saying this because glenn is is here but this is a top class this is a top class um event so i'll just leave it at that so imagine today's imagine this year's menu um um uh, <laughs> i'm gonna tell the menu right now so they wash your appetite a little bit oh we have we have um we the, the we have um haitian black rice called jean jean okay. we have yellow rice we have um um, seared salmon, honey his salmon, and also jerk chicken, desserts, and still in galore of other appetites. See, trust me, you don't want to miss it. It's not about the food, but we want to make sure that everyone, when they walk in there, they have an A-class experience on the event. I've gone to many events where you walk in, you get a sandwich, or where you get a little, you get a pen, and that's it. You actually walk out with a swag bag full of information and goodies. Oh. The swag bag is, is second to none, guys. The swag bag itself, even even just the bag itself, without the stuff inside, the bag is a quality bag that like you can reuse. These tote bags are these tote bags are quality. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up, but we we, we I want to share with you just some feedback from those who are here because you know they're excited too. Pastor Cherise Lamour Lenore. Uh, generational wealth building starting with our youth is going to be phenomenal and this is the youth is this the youth speaker or or yes she, she, is, she is actually the business coach oh the business coach oh, all right that's awesome um wow that's phenomenal i think that's when i was telling them about the 40 grand that i that i've made um uh, julia lewis span amazing wow um helping you activate your god vision in the marketplace or in ministry. It's a little bit of both, man. It's a little bit of both. Moms to Tech, she's also having her conference on Saturday, uh, this Saturday coming up. And um, Janitra, if you have time and you want to come up and just give us a quick overview, you can you, you can do so later on this after this evening. Uh, this is Janitra, she's here. Paula Scott Blackwood, hi everyone. Good to hey, have Paula. you, my friend. Um, Orville Downer, hey Paula. Uh, MJ. Hi, Glenn. Uh, hi, Orville. Blessings. Uh, it's a great conference, really enlightening. And if you if you really are ready to take control of your legacy and build additional wealth, you want to be in the building, says Pastor Cherise. Uh, looking forward to a to partnering again with you soon, Glenn, says Paul. All right, everybody. So just let me have your final words, Glenn. And again, it's always a pleasure having you on my shows, Lord Hill TV today. I want to say basically this. Now is the time to come out and build a generational wealth, take things seriously, and move into the next level. We are all called to be generational chain breakers. Let's rise up and take control that our next generation can live a life of bountiful pleasure and enjoyment of our work that we've left behind for them. My biggest hope is that I've left an oily fingerprint left behind that long after I'm gone, they can still remember all the things that I was able to share and impart through our speakers. So definitely I'm excited to see in the building and don't miss those coupons because by the 26th, the prices go back up. 
we want to see you there definitely come on all out. right again glenn thank you so much for being here tonight i will see you on the day the 27th of april and just remind us again what time it starts Check-in starts at night. Check-in and coffee networking starts at 9 a.m. So you come in 9 a.m., check-in, and it lasts until 945. The event kicks off at 10 a.m. with our very first speaker, which is Mark Coley, about mindset. All right. So there you have it, guys. Go to that website again. Give us the website one more time. It, it, is, is... it is riseupwealthsummit.com. All right. All right, Glenn, I will see you then. Have a wonderful evening and buy a fisha. <laughs> All right, you take care. Thank you so see much. You soon. All right. All right, guys, that is our special feature for the night. We have so much more coming up. We have a special feature. We're doing a new, we're bringing you a new feature today, which is called the um, Hidden Talents. So come up, we're going to have Hidden Talents. And then we also have one other special feature. So even though we've had our special guest, we have so much more going on tonight. So let's have a, a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to have something nice for you. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence, specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauderhill TV. Email support at LauderhillTV.com for the details. All right, we thank Mr. Glenn Payne for uh, such a beautiful interview and sharing about his event coming up. And he is his organization is actually based out of Lauder Hill. If you're wondering where the Lauder Hill comes in, his organization is based out of Lauder Hill, and we uh, support our Lauder Hill business owners, um, organizations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, I promised you something very, very special. And we, we're going to show you our new segment called Hidden Talents, Lauder Hill Hidden Talents. And we're going to share with you Miss Millicent Fuller. Greetings, everyone. This is Julia Lewis Fan, and I am featuring someone very special uh, for our Lauder Hill TV audience. Uh, we have here a Lauder Hill resident walking around with these hidden talents uh, and there are several people who are doing the same and so I want to feature people in our community who are just walking around full of hidden talents. These are just precious treasures and let you discover just how high of a caliber of people that we have here in Lauder Hill. So who do we have here today? Uh, Millicent Fuller. Okay, Millicent Fuller, and you're here in uh, in South Florida, in Lauder Hill, Florida? Yes. Okay, so where do you hail from? I hail from Jamaica. Um, I was born in Westmoreland, one of the 14 parishes in Jamaica, but I migrated to Kingston, so I spent a couple of my adult years in Kingston before I migrated to the U.S. and. I lived in Brooklyn for a couple of years, then I changed boroughs to Queens. And after many years of being employed in two major companies, American Express, and another one was a group health insurance, health insurance company, where I did customer service, because I love to talk to people, and I love people. Customer service was telephone service representative. Likewise, we meet them in person. So I used to have to talk to people. So I had to dress nicely and professionally. And so I retired a couple of years now, but I frequently visited Florida and 
I was visiting once with a friend who didn't live too far from where I am living right now in Lauder Hill and she showed me this picture on the phone that an apartment was for sale in Lauder Hill and I looked at it and I fell in love because I said mm, time to get out of the cold you know I still love my New York but I'm loving Lauder Hill I like the community it's mm -hmm. for senior residents yes. age 55 and over mm -hmm. and my talent is I love to cook and I love music mm -hmm. I play music yes. I'm the resident disc jockey in the community would you never guess DJ? that right would you ever guess that I'm a DJ and I can dance too because I'm the dancing DJ. Wow. I have to teach different line dances, so, and I enjoyed it. And I enjoy my cooking, and I like to see people happy. So, mm -hmm. I'm always, as we say, nicing up the place. We nice up the place. Truly, you do. I've been okay. to a few of your parties, and you keep those people dancing on the dance floor. Oh my goodness, Miss Millicent. Wow. You would never guess just walking down the street, seeing seeing Miss Millicent in the store, walking and doing her shopping, you would never guess that she can spin those tunes so well. So tell us, tell us what drew you into DJing? Have you been doing this for a while or what what attracted you to doing this? Well, briefly, I'm going way back. My father was a musician. So I love music. I was born in the late 40s. So I grew up around the music. And when I migrated to New York, I started playing music. I played at different events, birthdays, anniver wedding anniversaries, high school reunion, mm -hmm. um, parties for my company when Christmas we have parties so I play music for the company yes. but because I love music I'm a music fan and yes. all genre of music I love what are some of the genres that you play and well, some of the tunes that people really turn them on well they love the calypso and some Reggae, of course. Yes. That's the one. You know that beat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, and because the audience, it's mixed, so I try to accommodate, you know, let everybody feel good because I can't only play reggae because we have some Spanish ladies too, and I play different type of music. I try to cater to everybody. Yes, I've heard you playing uh, Latin music, uh, merengue, and punta, and salsa, and you rival some of the younger DJs out here too. I bet you could spin spin really, really well, and if there were a contest, you would be either number one or very high up there. Well, you, as you mentioned, Julia, contest. I had one in Queens. It was three young men against me. And I was number one DJ. Wow. Wow. And I tell them, I say, they all they challenge me all the time. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I'm not backing down from a challenge because when it comes to music, I know what I can do. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, so I won the competition. The recent experience that you did have, um, you were sharing that with me where it just you packed the place. Tell us a little bit about that and what you plan to do as we go through this year? Well, of course, the community, I try to make people happy because based on the age of the residents, you know, we don't want to be locked up in the house all the time. Some are not able to walk around like myself who can go about, take the bus, walk around. So we try to get them out and we plan events here and get the people out. They come in the wheelchair, they have their attendants bring them and they will sit and tap their legs 
because they are enjoying the music. And I love my oldies but goodies, yeah. 50s music. Okay, but I put a little hip hop. Mm. Yes. Hip hop. A little hip hop. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you're well informed on all of the, the latest and, and greatest, most popular tunes that are out there in the in the entertainment world. Yes, I try to keep updated on the music. Yes. See, so this is one of our hidden talents, guys. Millicent Fuller here in Lauder Hill, Florida. You have to check her out sometime. Okay, just contact Lauder Hill TV and you'll be able to find out more. And if you have some party or social coming up, Millicent is your person. She's your DJ. Thank you so much, Millicent Fuller. We definitely look forward to seeing you again in the future, spinning some tunes somewhere and just bringing happiness, more and more happiness to this world. Thank you, Julia, for having me. I love to see people happy because I'm a happy person. So I appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you. And you're very welcome. <laughs> Lord of Hill Hidden Talents. Who would, have, who would have known that this lady is a DJ, right? I would never have known. So just drop me a number one in the chats. Just drop me a number one in the chat if you enjoyed that hidden talent. And we're going to be bringing you more hidden talents. And a big, big special thanks to Julia Lewis Spann, who went out and found this hidden talent. And she's going to be bringing more hidden talents to us here from the city of Lauder Hill. So she says, incredible. You can't tell a book by its cover, says Julia. And uh, Pastor Cherie says, oh, wow. Uh, David Reese says, good job, Julia. And we're getting some number ones who enjoy that segment. Uh, Legacy Lives gives us a word. Kirk Trinidad is in the building. Welcome, Kirk. Uh, David enjoyed that. Julia enjoyed it. And Jacqueline Adamson. Welcome back, Jacqueline Adamson. Good to have you as always. You're at the end, so I know you're going to watch it from the beginning. We had a great interview with Mr. Glenn Payne and some really great segments earlier. And we have one more great segment for you. You're not going to believe this one. This is going to be great. So coming up after our last commercial break, we are going to have another special feature so let's go to our break the law office of tamar hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence specializing in real estate title and closing services wills trust and probate your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us choose the law office of tamar hamilton Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauder Hill TV. Email support at LauderHillTV.com for the details. All right, so here is our next special feature for the night. And remember, like I said in the text, um, when you see the flyer, it has one person's face on it, but there are probably about four or five or even six different segments that we include on the show. And we've been holding this one for a little while now. This is been, this has been produced by our very own co-producer, Mr. G. And he talks about a very special topic. Go ahead, Mr. G, play that footage. Seen here, staring into the distance, an adolescent male, commonly referred to as a skater boy. He's on a quest to discover a rare, and some might say impossible, find. A skate park in Lauder Hill, Florida. Akin to a bumblebee, ignorant of its incapabilities, he tests his skills upon an uncooperative skating surface.
Dissatisfied with the results, he sees a less powdery surface in the not too far distance. Yo! Got caught! Unfortunately, the native seems threatened by his mere appearance. And they attempt to neutralize his skating apparatus. Eventually, he was ushered to seek other grounds. Hey, get out of here! The search for the elusive skate park continued. Surely with all these parks and all this space, there has to be a slither of room to practice this recreation of choice. But with tremendous persistence and fearless optimism, he pushed forward on his arduous goal, finding a skate park in Lauder Hill. Basketball, football, pickleball, soccer, a desperate idea came to mind. Maybe he can combine his love for skateboarding with the habitational facilities already provided. Hmm, maybe not. Tired and disillusioned, he sat on the park bench, looking out into the distance, dreaming of one day having a skate park in Lauder Hill. Wow. <laughs> so guys, I, did you see that? Did you see that um, little movie there talking about a young boy's quest for a skate park in Lauder Hill? Um, right? So there's no skate park in Lauder Hill, apparently. I didn't know. And he was trying to find, he went to different parks in Lauder Hill. It went, I think it was at West Wind. It was at the Eileen Lieberman Park. Did you recognize any of the parks, guys? And he couldn't find a place. He even tried to, um, even tried to play tennis with his skateboard. <laughs> and uh, he had no luck. He was even at the, um, he was even at the sports park on o Oakland Park. But, he couldn't find 
a place to to Is it a possibility that we can get a skate park in the city of Lauder Hill? I suggest you go to the city hall and you make a plea for Lauder Hill's Lauder Hill skate park. You might even take this video with you, Mr. G. <laughs> All right, but it would be nice to have a skate park in the city of Lauder Hill, right? I think the nearest one is in is it Cypress Creek? Uh, where is it? And I know there's one in Miramar as well. And Miramar had one made maybe in the last five years or so because they didn't have one down there either. All right. So Tamarack. Okay. There's one in Tamarack. So Shanika Barrows here. Welcome. She says, nice. She liked that one. Love it. Love it. And yes, you recognized some places in Lauder Hill. All right. So we have a, one more thing for you tonight. I wonder if Janitra will be getting home in time. I wanted to I wanted to tell you about what she has coming up on Saturday. So actually, let's, let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, on Saturday, this is April 20th at 6 p.m. till 8. It is the Tech Talk, Closing the Digital D Divide, Women in Tech Panelist. Now, this is going to be a full day of uh, tech and um you know talks for women on different areas what is this the tech panel and i will be on the tech panel along with some other amazing women it's going to be amazing the whole evening is going to be amazing but this is a, this is just a portion of it so um if you are interested in coming to this on saturday it's going to be in hollandale and if you go to moms to tech dot eventbrite.com moms to tech dot eventbrite.com you can find the address you can find out um, more information all right so this is the founder of moms to tech she is going to be hosting a a, a workshop a a panel discussion and so forth on saturday coming and i am going to be part of that i'm going to be happy to moderate that so if you want to have more information Again, the website is moms2tech.eventbrite.com. You can get your tickets from there. All right. Um, so we have quite a few things went on today. I want to just keep give you a brief update of some things that are happening as well. Like I said, on Saturday, I'll be taking part in that workshop. And uh, last week, I participated and hosted the question and answer section of the I ha Am Hope um, pageant. That was awesome. And then coming up in June, I will be also doing a, um, I will also be hosting an event. So I'll tell you about that as we get along to it. So today's, today's show has been incredible. There's one last thing that I'm trying to find, but I'm waiting for it to download. Oh, here it is. I'm just gonna get this one up for you to download. We're going to take a, another final break. And when we come back, I'm going to share this last thing with you. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence, specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauder Hill TV. Email support at LauderHillTV.com for the details. All right, all right. We have a lot going on and we're already at the top of the hour. So the last thing I want to show you is the event by Orville. He popped in early, earlier. I'm not sure if he's still here, but on the 27th is going to be a party. So after we go to the conference, we're going to go to the party. It's the 27th and it is um, 9 p.m. until later. Orville in harmony with the J-E-S-A-S-F-L. That's the 
I think it's the um, the Jamaican Ex Soldiers Association of Florida, something like that. Jamaica uh, Jamaica Ex Soldiers Association South Florida presents the party with a purpose. They're raising money always, and it is uh, featuring DJ Trooper and DJ Capone. Admission fifteen dollars. Bottles, buckets available. Captain's Cafe. That's in the Denny's Plaza, 5712 North University Drive, just two doors away from Lauder Hill. So it's part of the same community. Uh, so hoping that you will be able to join us for that as well. So many great things going on in the city of Lauder Hill and the surrounding areas. If you'd like to promote your event, just get in touch with me. If you'd like to collaborate with Lauder Hill TV and do a, a segment or whatever, do get in touch with me and just let me just uh, see in the chat. Drop me a number one if you are interested in doing something, doesn't matter what it is, with the, with Lauder Hill TV. Just drop me a number one in the chat if you would like to do anything with Lauder Hill. Number two, just drop me a number two in the chat. And also, if for those who have seen all of the segments today, can you just drop me, just drop in the chat, which was your favorite segment? Was it the interview with um, Glenn Payne? Was it the skate, bar, skate park video? Was it the hidden talents video? Was it Doctor? Uh, was it uh, Attorney Tamar segments? Was it uh, the Seventh-day Adventist uh, events? Whatever it is, just drop it in the chat. And it could be more than one. It could be more than one uh, of the segments. All right, we're already over time, two minutes. I want to thank you so much for tuning in tonight and thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done so, it's not too late. You can subscribe right now if it's, if it's your first time here. You can share. You can like the um, the uh, the video as well. And that this will allow more people to see it and enjoy it. So don't keep it to yourself, guys. I want to thank my co-producer, Mr. G. Thanks to Julia lewis Pan for that segment. And thanks to Mr. G as well for the skate park segment and the actors involved, um, Ethan and the other young man and everybody that was involved in everything that we do here on Lord of Hill TV. We've got a lot of things coming. So just, just stay tuned. A lot of things are coming. All right, guys, I will see you very, very soon. And uh, what does is, what is, um, Julia say? Oh, no skate parks in Lauder Hill? Okay, then we have to work to that, right? We're going we're gonna to put, 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 put a plan together to get that uh, happening. Mr. Mr. Orville's still here. Uh, Orville Downer was able to see your, um, your ad uh, promoted here today. All right, I'm going to send it out on WhatsApp as well. All right, guys, I want you to have a wonderful evening. I will say good night for now. Bye.